G'day everybody, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another tutorial in Affinity Photo. This week we're gonna take seven different photographs and we're gonna composite them into one photograph. This is from the perspective of more of a beginner's composite or a starting point for compositing. There are lots and lots of different ways to do compositing and lots of different ways to achieve these results, but this is just one way, more from the beginner's point of view. So as usual, let's get started. I'm going to start off with our sea picture here, just of the sea, and this is going to be our base to build up. So the first thing we're going to do is grab our picture of our underwater. This picture is from DeviantArt, and this picture you do have to credit the artist if you do use it. So I will put all the links for all the pictures below, but just remember this one you do have to credit the artist if you do use it and post it on the internet. The first thing I'm going to do is take just the top part of this photograph, and then we're going to come back and grab the bottom part. So we're going to use our rectangular tool, our marquee tool here, and I'm just going to make a selection just around the top part of this water here. Command C. Back over to our sky here and Command V. Just going to make sure we're on our move tool here and just move that into place. And I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. I'm going to drag it down just onto the horizon here. In position there and that looks pretty good. I'm going to come back to the water now, Command D to get rid of that selection, and I'm going to select the bottom part of the water, like this, just that bottom part, Command C, back to our sky picture here and Command V. Make sure we're on our move tool and we're just going to make that a bit smaller, put it into place here, and I'm going to drag that all the way over to the side here. I'm going to click just on the top part of the water here and on my mesh tool here, my mesh warp tool, I'm going to click on that and on this little square here, I'm going to click on this little square so I get these handles. I'm going to drag this one down and this one up a little bit just to give it a little bit of a wave sort of effect on the top of the water there and we're going to click on apply. Back on the move tool and we'll just bring that down a little bit and move the water up a little bit. Okay, so we've just got that little bit of a wave in the picture there. Okay, I'm going to highlight the bottom of the water and the top of the water and on the layers here, I'm just gonna go merge selected. So that just takes that back into one photograph. And on this water layer now, I'm gonna add an adjustment and I'm going to add a recolor. Just clip that recolor just so it affects the water layer. And I'm gonna bring my hue down till I get to that nice sort of guy sort of blue color. Looking good about there. Okay, so let's click off that. And we've got our water and our little bit of a wave in our water. So that's looking pretty good. Next thing we're going to do is bring our beach in. So I've got this picture just of the beach here. I'm going to use our marquee tool again, our rectangular marquee tool, and I'm just going to make a selection of the beach. Command C, back to our main layer here, and Command V, making sure we're on our move tool again, and just let's move that into position. I'm going to bring that all the way down to about here and set it right on the bottom of the water layer here or the bottom of the ocean. While we're on this layer, I I am going to use my mesh warp tool again. Clicking on this square, I'm going to put a wave in this sand as well, just by manipulating these little handles here. That looks good. We're going to click on apply. While I've got this one here, I'm going to duplicate this layer now with a command J. Bottom layer here that we've just duplicated. I'm going to come up here to arrange. Make sure that we're on our move tool when we come up here to arrange. And I'm going to go flip horizontal. I'm going to use my move tool and just pull that up a little bit, drag him out a little bit, and that's giving us a little bit of depth. Both of these layers now, our sand layers, I'm going to click on both of them. Command G to group them. I'm going to call them sandy bottom. Hit enter. And on the sandy bottom layer that we just grouped, I'm going to change the blend mode for overlay. That's going to put both of those sand layers underneath our water there. So that is looking very nice at the moment. So we've got our sandy bottom, we've got our water as well and our sky background. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is come over here to our people. As you can see, I've already made a selection of my people. This was actually fairly difficult selection as a lot of the colors blended into each other. But there is a fantastic video out by Olivia Sakaris at the moment, which I will link below 
below and also you'll see that popping up on the screen now. If you want to check out that video all about selections, it is really, really good and very, very helpful. For this one, I'm going to hit refine and I'm going to smooth it by three and feather it by three. There will still be a lot of cleanup to do with this one, but we're going to go select new layer and apply and you'll be able to see now all this cleanup that we need to do. So I'm going to do that with my erase tool very quickly. So let's go Command C, back over to our main picture here and Command V. Make sure we're on our move tool again and let's just position our people on the beach here. I want the water just to be above their knees here or just below their knees. Pretty good about there. As you can see, there's still some cleanup to do and we can still grab our erase tool if we want to and just clean up a little bit more of those overflows that we've got. The other thing that we can do is grab our blur tool here just a little bit bigger and just go around the edges and just blur those in as well. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is add a mask to our people. So down here to our mask, add a mask. We're going to grab our brush, making sure that we're on opacity 100, flow 100, and we're going to make sure we are painting in black. Make our brush a little bit smaller and just on the top here, the top of the ocean here, and very carefully just draw that line back in so it looks like their legs are under the water and their upper part of their legs are on top of the water. While we've got the mask we're just going to make our brush a little bit smaller and just go around the feet here as well making them look like they're buried in the sand a little bit more. Okay we've got our people let's bring our turtle in. As you can see I've already made the selection of our turtle to save a little bit more time as well. This one's a relatively easy selection but let's bring the turtle over with a command C over to our main picture again and and command V back over here to our move tool and let's just move our turtle and point him up a little bit and we want to move him into place here and I'm going to just move him into place just with his neck at the back of that and I'm just using my arrow keys down the bottom just to move that turtle little bits at a time into place and I'm thinking a about there looks pretty good. And with our turtle here, you can also grab your blur tool just to go around the edges a little bit, just to blend that in a little bit better. And also we can add a little bit of motion blur from our live filters down here and come down to motion blur and just add a small amount of motion blur, about five or six. And once we've done that, we can now bring in some bubbles. So we've got our picture of our bubbles here. So command C, back over to our picture here and command V. Again our move tool and let's make this a little bit smaller and change the blend mode to lighten. Gives us our bubbles here without that dark background and we can place our bubbles. I'm going to place some in front of the feet here. Also going to go command J and place some behind the feet here. So one over here, down a little bit, a little bit smaller and command J again. Again, and you can place these bubbles wherever you like, in front or behind. Another command J in this one, I'm going to put in front here, on this foot here, maybe a bit bigger across both of those feet. And on our turtle as well, command J, put this one underneath our turtle or behind our turtle. We can turn it round to make it look a little bit better. And we'll do another one and we'll do it in front of our turtle here as well. Okay, we've got all our bubbles in place. Um, you can do as many as you like. The other thing we're going to do is add a little bit of a shadow underneath here, underneath the people and the turtle. And for the shadow, I'm going to come down here to our add pixel layer. Right on top here, I'm going to grab my brush, making sure that my flow and opacity at 100% and hardness at zero, making sure I'm painting in black. I make my brush a little bit bigger with my right and left bracket keys. Just put a black dot right there. On my move tool here, I'm going to grab my move tool. I'm going to stretch that out and I'm going to stretch it right out, place it underneath the man here. I'm going to add a Gaussian blur from my live filters, Gaussian blur, and I'm going to blur that about 30 at this stage, about 30. And then on that layer, I'm going to bring the opacity down just about halfway, about 50 or a little bit, maybe 55, a little bit higher. Going to duplicate that layer with a command J, make this one a little bit smaller, place it underneath where our lady is here, just underneath her feet there. 
and make that go back a little bit. And I'm going to duplicate that again, another command J. I'm going to bring this one down underneath our turtle here and just stretch that out as well. And we've got our shadows in place. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is grab our eyedropper tool here and take a selection of this blue color of the ocean. Let's activate that color so the color is activated come over here to our shapes here and pick our rectangle and right on the edge here I'm going to draw that color out just make it sure it's right up onto the edge there and on the opacity for this layer we're going to take that down all the way to 40 percent so there we go now we've got the legs and the turtle um, looking like it's underwater with that blue color on top only one last thing to do is we're going to add our birds command c back to our main layer and command v let's just use our move tool again making sure that we're on our move tool making those birds a little bit smaller i'm going to put them right up here in the corner I'm going to change the blend mode to darken this time and then you can resize those birds however you like i'll put them right up in the corner there maybe a little bit bigger and the very very last thing I'm going to do on this composite is come down here and add a curves adjustment right on the top here this point here I'm going to bring up a bit just to flatten the blacks a little bit this point here down a bit and our usual s curve so there you go everybody that is my composite using seven different photographs there's still quite a bit of cleanup to do on this photograph but I just wanted to give you a starting point in this tutorial I hope you have enjoyed it I hope you have learned something as I said you can take a little bit more time when you do your composite cleaning it all up and until next time I'll say to you stay well stay safe and I'll see you in my next video